learning objectives. After completing this module, you'll be able to create application settings that are bound to deployment slots, explain the options for installing SSL TLS certificates for your app, enable diagnostic logging for your app to aid in monitoring and debugging, create virtual app to directory mappings, configure application settings in app service. App settings are variables passed as environment variables to the application code. For Linux apps and custom containers, app service passes app settings to the container using the and flag to set the environment variable in the container. Application settings can be accessed by navigating to your app's management page and selecting configuration application settings. Navigating to configuration application settings. You can keep development settings in web. Config or app settings.json and production secrets safely in app service. The same code uses your development settings when you debug locally, and it uses your production secrets when deployed to Azure. App settings are always encrypted when stored. Adding and editing settings. To add a new app setting, click New Application Setting. If you are using deployment slots, you can specify if your setting is swappable or not. In the dialog, you can stick the setting to the current slot. Selecting Deployment Slot Setting to stick the setting to the current slot. To edit a setting, Click the edit button on the right side. When finished, click update. Don't forget to click save back in the configuration page. Note, in a default or custom Linux container any nested JSON and key structure in the app setting name like application insights. Instrumentation key needs to be configured in app service as application insights instrumentation key for the key name. In other words, any should be replaced by editing application settings in bulk. To add or edit app settings in bulk, click the advanced edit button. When finished, click update. App settings have the following JSON formatting. Configure connection strings. For core developers, the values you set in app service override the ones in web. Config. For other language stacks, it's better to use app settings instead because connection strings require special formatting in the variable keys in order to access the values. Connection strings are always encrypted when stored. Tip. There is one case where you may want to use connection strings instead of app settings for non.NET languages. Certain Azure database types are backed up along with the app only if you configure a connection string for the database in your app service app. Adding and editing connection strings follow the same principles as other app settings and they can also be tied to deployment slots. Below is an example of connection strings in JSON formatting that you would use for bulk adding or editing. Configure general settings. In the configuration general settings section you can configure some common settings for your app. Some settings require you to scale up to higher pricing tiers. Below is a list of the currently available settings. Stack settings. The software stack to run the app including the language and SDK versions. For Linux apps and custom container apps you can also set an optional startup command or file. Establishing the stack settings that include the programming language. Platform settings lets you configure settings for the hosting platform, including Witness 32 bit or 64 bit. Always on, keep the app loaded even when there's no traffic. By default, always on isn't enabled and the app is unloaded after 20 minutes without any incoming requests. It's required for continuous web jobs or for web jobs that are triggered using a cron expression. Manage pipeline version, the IIS pipeline mode. Set it to classic if you have a legacy app that requires an older version of IIS. HTTP version, set to 2.0 to enable support for HTTPS2 protocol. ARR affinity in a multi-instance deployment. Ensure that the client is routed to the same instance for the life of the session. You can set this option to off for stateless applications. Debugging, enable remote debugging for .NET, .NET Core, or Node.js apps. This option turns off automatically after 48 hours. Incoming client certificates. Require client certificates in mutual authentication. TLS mutual authentication is used to restrict access to your app by enabling different types of authentication for it. Configure path mappings. In the configuration path mapping section you can configure handler mappings and virtual application and directory mappings. The path mappings page will display different options based on the OS type. Windows apps and containerized. For Windows apps, you can customize the IIS handler mappings and virtual applications and directories. Handler mappings let you add custom script processors to handle requests for specific file extensions. To add a custom handler, select New Handler. 
configure the handler as follows extension the file extension you want to handle such as php or handler.fcgi script processor the absolute path of the script processor requests to files that match the file extension are processed by the script processor use the path d home site ww root to refer to your app's root directory argument optional command line arguments for the script processor each app has the default root path map to d home site ww root where your code is deployed by default if your app root is in a different folder or if your repository has more than one application you can edit or add virtual applications and directories you can configure virtual applications and directories by specifying each virtual directory and its corresponding physical path relative to the website root to mark a virtual directory as a web application clear the directory checkbox Linux and containerized apps you can add custom storage for your containerized app Containerized apps include all Linux apps and also the Windows and Linux custom containers running on app service. Click New Azure Storage Mount and configure your custom storage as follows. Name, the display name. Configuration options, basic or advanced. Storage accounts, the storage account with the container you want. Storage type, Azure blobs or Azure files. Windows container apps only support Azure files. Storage container for basic configuration, the container you want. Share name for advanced configuration, the file share name. Access key for advanced configuration, the access key. Mount path, the absolute path in your container to mount the custom storage. Enable diagnostic logging. There are built-in diagnostics to assist with debugging an app service app. In this lesson, you will learn how to enable diagnostic logging and add instrumentation to your application, as well as how to access the information logged by Azure. The cable below shows the types of logging, the platforms supported, and where the logs can be stored and located for accessing the information. Type platform location description. Application logging windows, Linux app service file system and or Azure storage blobs logs messages generated by your application code. The messages can be generated by the web framework you choose or from your application code directly using the standard logging pattern of your language. Each message is assigned one of the following categories, critical, error, warning, info, debug, and trace. Web server logging Windows app service file system or Azure storage blobs raw HTTP request data in the W3C extended log file format. Each log message includes data like the HTTP method, resource URL, client IP, client port, user agent, response code, and so on. Detailed error logging Windows app service file system copies of the HTML error pages that would have been sent to the client browser. For security reasons, detailed error pages shouldn't be sent to clients in production, but App Service can save the error page each time an application error occurs that has HTTP code 400 or greater. Failed request tracing Windows App Service file system detailed tracing information on failed requests, including a trace of the IIS components used to process the request and the time taken in each component. One folder is generated for each failed request, which contains the XML log file and the XSL style sheet to view the log file with. Deployment logging windows. Linux app service file system helps determine why a deployment failed. Deployment logging happens automatically, and there are no configurable settings for deployment logging. Enable application logging windows. To enable application logging for Windows apps in the Azure portal, navigate to your app and select App Service Logs. Select on for either Application Logging File System or Application Logging Blob or both. The File System option is for temporary debugging purposes and turns itself off in 12 hours. The Blob option is for long-term logging and needs a Blob Storage Container to write logs too. You can also set the level of details included in the log as shown in the table below. Level included categories. Disabled none. Error error critical. Warning warning error critical. Information info warning error critical. Verbose trace debug info warning error critical. When finished, select save. Enable application logging. In app service log, set the application logging option to file system. In quota, specify the disk quota for the application logs. In retention period, set the number of days the logs should be retained. When finished, select save. Enable web server logging. 
from web server logging, select storage to store logs on blob storage, or file system to store logs on the app service file system. In retention period, set the number of days the logs should be retained. When finished, select save. Add log messages in code. In your application code, you use the usual logging facilities to send log messages to the application logs. For example, ASPNET applications can use the system. Diagnostics Trace class to log information to the application diagnostics log. For example, see hatch, copy, system, diagnostics, trace, trace error. By default, ASPNET core uses the Microsoft. Extensions, logging, Azure App Services logging provider. Stream logs, before you stream logs in real time, enable the log type that you want. Any information written to files ending in txt, log, or htm that are stored in the log files directory is streamed by app service. Note, some types of logging buffer right to the log file, which can result in out of order events in the stream. For example, an application log entry that occurs when a user visits a page may be displayed in the stream before the corresponding HTTP log entry for the page request. Azure Portal To stream logs in the Azure Portal, navigate to your app and select Log Stream. Azure CLI to stream logs live in Cloud Shell. Use the following command dash copy as web app log tail name app name resource group my resource group local console to stream logs in the local console install azure cli and sign in to your account once signed in follow the instructions for azure cli above access log files if you configure the azure storage blobs option for a log type you need a client tool that works with azure storage for log stored in the app service file system the easiest way is to download the zip file in the browser app Linux container app https colon slash slash dot scm dot azure websites dot net slash api slash log slash docker slash zip windows app https colon slash slash dot scm dot azure websites dot net slash api slash dumb for Linux container apps the zip file contains console output logs for both the docker host and the docker container for a scaled out app, the zip file contains one set of logs for each instance. In the app service file system, these log files are the contents of the home log files directory. Configure security certificates. You've been asked to help secure information being transmitted between your company's app and the customer. Azure App Service has tools that let you create, upload, or import a private certificate or a public certificate into App Service. A certificate uploaded into an app is stored in a deployment unit that is bound to the App Service plans resource group and region combination. This makes the certificate accessible to other apps in the same resource group and region combination. The table below details the options you have for adding certificates in App Service. Option Description Create a free app service managed certificate, a private certificate that's free of charge and easy to use if you just need to secure your custom domain in app service. Purchase an app service certificate, a private certificate that's managed by Azure. It combines the simplicity of automated certificate management and the flexibility of renewal and export options. Import a certificate from Key Vault useful if you use Azure Key Vault to manage your certificates. Upload a private certificate if you already have a private certificate from a third party provider, you can upload it. Upload a public certificate. Public certificates aren't used to secure custom domains, but you can load them into your code if you need them to access remote resources. Private certificate requirements. The free app service managed certificate and the app service certificate already satisfy the requirements of app service. If you want to use a private certificate in app service, your certificate must meet the following requirements. Export it as a password protected PFX file, encrypted using triple DES. Contains private key at least 2048 bits long. Contains all intermediate certificates in the certificate chain. To secure a custom domain in a TLS binding, the certificate has other requirements. Contains an extended key usage for server authentication. Signed by a trusted certificate authority. Creating a free managed certificate. To create custom TLS, SSL bindings or enable client certificates for your app service app. Your app service plan must be in the basic, standard, premium, or isolated tier. The free app service managed certificate 
It's a turnkey solution for securing your custom DNS naming app service. It's a TLS, SSL server certificate that's fully managed by app service and renewed continuously and automatically in 6 month increments, 45 days before expiration. You create the certificate and bind it to a custom domain and let app service do the rest. The free certificate comes with the following limitations. Doesn't support wild card certificates. Doesn't support usage as a client certificate by certificate thumbprint. Isn't exportable. Isn't supported on app service environment. Isn't supported with root domains that are integrated with traffic manager. If a certificate is for a CNAME map domain, the CNAME must be mapped directly to .azurewebsites.net. Import an app service certificate. If you purchase an app service certificate from Azure, Azure manages the following tasks. Takes care of the purchase process from certificate provider. Performs domain verification of the certificate. Maintains the certificate in Azure Key Vault. Manages certificate renewal. Synchronize the certificate automatically with the imported copies in app service apps. If you already have a working app service certificate, you can import the certificate into app service. Manage the certificate such as renew, rekey, and export it. Note, app service certificates are not supported in Azure National Clouds at this time. Upload a private certificate. If your certificate authority gives you multiple certificates in the certificate chain, you need to merge the certificates in order. Then you can export your merged TLS SSL certificate with the private key that your certificate request was generated with. If you generated your certificate request using OpenSSL, then you've created a private key file. When prompted, define an export password. You'll use this password when uploading your TLS SSL certificate to app service. Enforce HTTPS. By default, anyone can still access your app using HTTP. You can redirect all HTTP requests to the HTTPS port by navigating to your app page and in the left navigation, select TLS SSL settings. Then in HTTPS only, select on. Enabling HTTPS only in your web app. Manage app features. Feature management is a modern software development practice that decouples feature release from code deployment and enables quick changes to feature availability on demand. It uses a technique called feature flags to dynamically administer a feature's life cycle. Basic concepts. Here are several new terms related to feature management. Feature flag. A feature flag is a variable with a binary state of on or off. The feature flag also has an associated code block. The state of the feature flag triggers whether the code block runs or not. Feature Manager A feature manager is an application package that handles the life cycle of all the feature flags in an application. The feature manager typically provides additional functionality, such as caching feature flags and updating their states. Filter A filter is a rule for evaluating the state of a feature flag a user group, a device or browser type, a geographic location, and a time window are all examples of what a filter can represent. An effective implementation of feature management consists of at least two components working in concert, an application that makes use of feature flags, a separate repository that stores the feature flag in their current states. How these components interact is illustrated in the following examples. Feature flag usage in code. The basic pattern for implementing feature flags in an application is simple. You can think of a feature flag as a boolean state variable used with an if conditional statement in your code. Feature flag declaration. Each feature flag has two parts, a name and a list of one or more filters that are used to evaluate if a feature state is on. A filter defines a use case for when a feature should be turned on. When a feature flag has multiple filters, the filter list is traversed in order until one of the filters determines the feature should be enabled. At that point, the feature flag is on and any remaining filter results are skipped. If no filter indicates the feature should be enabled, the feature flag is off. The feature manager supports appsettings.json as a configuration source for feature flags. The following example shows how to set up feature flags in a JSON file. Feature flag repository. To use feature flags effectively, you need to externalize all the feature flags used in an application. This approach allows you to change feature flag states without modifying and redeploying the application itself. Azure App Configuration is designed to be a centralized repository for feature flags. You can use it to define different kinds of features.